สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Kencho Quest. When you're a long-term traveler like us, eventually you're going to want to cook your own food. Today we're going to make some spicy Thai soup, some tom yum goon. One, two, three. Hello, hi. We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. Let's make friends around the world. What exactly is tom yum? So tom yum is a boiled sour soup. The word tom actually means to boil in Thai, and the yum part means Mixed, so it literally means boil mixed. And in this case, we're going to make a spicy sour soup. But since we actually have control, since we're making it on our own, we can make it less spicy. Since our daughter Haru <laughs> doesn't like spice at all, mm -hmm. Kaisha loves spice, but the rest of us can't quite handle Thai spice. We often order things my head, not spicy, or maybe two chilies, a little bit spicy, but it's still spicy for us. So we're gonna make not so spicy spicy soup today. Where can you buy the ingredients for tom yum soup here in Thailand? So that's a great question, and it's super awesome because you could basically get it at, at almost any grocery store. So we got a couple packets here. We got this one here from Central Food Hall, and this one here from Villa Market. But I've seen them even at 7-Eleven or even at the Family Mart. And we were able to actually get all of our ingredients from one store, which was Central Food Hall. So you're the cook in the family. You got the recipe ready? Let's do it. Inside the packet here, we can see we got a variety of chilies. We'll probably only use a couple of these. We have galangal here, which is basically Thai ginger. And we have a bunch of these kefir lime leaves. We'll be just shredding these and putting these into the soup. We have some lemongrass and one lime. Now you can see all the herbs and spices here. However, you notice that we now have mushrooms and cilantro. These usually will not come in the packages. And the reason why is because both of these can wilt and just go bad really quickly. So we had to purchase these separately. Here are some of the ingredients. Some coconut milk. This is optional. We like to make it a little bit creamy. So we'll be adding a little bit of coconut milk, a little bit of fish sauce, and possibly some sugar if you want to make it a little bit sweet. We'll see about that. We may not need this at all. This last item is optional, but since we are making tom yum goong, goong is shrimp, we will be adding some shrimp as well. Forgot one ingredient here. This is some beef stock. This is bone broth. We're gonna use this as our stock. And also optional is some chili paste. We'll be adding just a little bit of this too. George finished with the cooking, it's time for me to do a little taste test. But wait a second, it doesn't look like tom yum. <laughs> How come it's not red? That depends on what you add to it. You could add like red chili paste or even tomatoes, which helps with the color. And the reason why ours is kind of like a light brown color is because we used bone broth, which is already brown to start with. And then we added coconut milk to lessen the spice level and make it a little more creamier. But give it a taste. <laughs> so you almost made it into similar to Tom Ka soup, which I like. Similar. So the difference, the main difference between Tom Ka and Tom Yang Gung, mm -hmm. I would say, is that well, Tom Ka, the Ka part means the galangal, which both has, but Tom Ka is more of a coconutty type soup, whereas this one is a more of a sour, spicy soup. It smells good. I smell the spicy. I 
think the galangal, or is it ginger in there too? That's what the ginger is, is the galangal. Okay, and the coconut. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit. It's hot too. Oh, at first I thought it was totally mild until it hit the back of my tongue. Okay. Our three-year-old's not going to be able no. to eat that. Really? Is it too spicy? Uh, he put I only so. a little bit of red chili paste and added that coconut milk thinking uh, it's got an after kick of spice. The very first flavor I tasted was just kind of the coconutty broth. We made this as a goon version, which refers to the shrimp. And we have mushrooms in here too. Mmm. The flavor tastes like it. It's just got that after kick of spice. Nice work though. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to see more about our family's adventures here in Thailand. We're a long-term traveling family that shares travel tips and inspiration. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.